everybody. Happy October. Welcome to um, this month's drawing tutorial. Each month what we've been doing is uh, drawing an animal. Now because it's Halloween, I thought what we would do is draw a monster sort of animal. But I wanted to be, you know, inspired by some of my art. So what we're actually going to draw today is a monster teapot. I don't know if you've ever seen my monster teapot in the studio, um, but we're going to draw that today. So what I would like you guys to start with is a spike. Okay, and this spike is pointing up. And then another spike, maybe a little bit smaller or more crooked, up like that. Okay, so we've got two spikes. Then, I want you to draw a line between the two spikes. Okay, and turn that line into some messy blobs. top of here we're gonna make sort of like a blob on top with a stem except the stem has a circle at the end and the circle is going to become an eyeball okay We're gonna drag the bottom side down. Okay, and we can put a normal handle on it. It's the only normal thing about it. It's just a handle. Okay. Then we're gonna get crazy over here because it's not gonna be just a normal teapot spout. Okay? We're going to make the spout tentacle. Okay, so I'm going to draw the big curve like a normal teapot. Okay, a tentacle. So we're going to curve in and then curve under and create that big chunky tentacle. Okay, we're going to put the hole to pour the tea right there. We're going to draw some big tentacles. Okay, put some smaller tentacles beside it. Okay, and then underneath of this honey, or not honey, but this droopy, drippy stuff. I want you to fill it with scales, okay? If you want to make them sort of sharp scales, that's cool with me. So I'm going to just do going to put some scale shapes on my handle, but not too much. Okay. And then off the back here, we're going to put in another tooth. It's a tooth. Okay. Okay, 
So our teapot has an eyeball. It's got very sharp three. It's got three very sharp teeth. It's got a tentacle. It's got scales. Everything you need for a monster tea party. Okay. So <clears throat> you want to make sure you got your marker, and you're just going to outline all of this. take some water on our brush we're gonna make a mess in the background here with just water you should take out your four ink colors this month we have brown turquoise red and yellow okay and we're gonna mix some of them together to make some of our grosser muddier monstery colors okay but if you would like to just keep things bright and colorful that's okay too okay So what we want the background to look like for this one is spilt tea, okay? And if you want to get extra spooky, spilt tea with a drop of blood. Hopefully that doesn't scare anybody. Um, so I'm going to start with my brown, okay? And I'm just, I'm going to kind of create a, a puddle, blob all the way around, and then I'm just going to scribble in from the edge outwards, okay? So I'm just gonna try and fill that in. It almost looks like a tea stain, okay? But we're gonna add a little bit of yellow to it in a moment. Okay. okay. And just for fun, add a couple drips and drops and blobs on the outside here, right? Okay, then we're going to make sure you wash that brush, dry it off, get some yellow, and just dab the yellow into our tea blob and just sort of spread it around a little. Okay, now if you want more yellow, it's very important to remember wash your brush before you put your messy brush back into that yellow because you've got brown on your paintbrush now and that's going to ruin things. Okay, so I'm just scribbling, spreading out some of that yellow. I want it to sort of blend in with the brown a little bit, okay? And I can always come in and get more brown if I feel like it's going too light in areas. Okay. Now, if you've seen my teapot in the studio, but I've never talked about it, it's kind of interesting. My monster teapot is a killer teapot, but not because it will come alive and be a monster and eat you. It's because the way it was created. So when you make pottery, you create it as squishy clay and then you got to put it in a fancy oven called a kiln to cook the clay and make it hard. However, there's a fancy Japanese way of doing it where you put it in the kiln and then once it's red hot, literally red hot, you drop it into a pile of things that will burn easy like leaves or straw or water, okay? And then that creates smoke and it smokes the outside of the teapot so it looks extra creepy, except it also makes it poisonous. So if I were to pour anyone tea, I would poison them. So it really is a killer teapot. Isn't that cool? So of course, I just thought I'd show everybody. 
add in some blood splatter. Now just remember, it's not real blood. Okay, it just, it's just red paint. Okay, there. Okay, so I'm gonna leave mine like that. If you wanna do a little bit more, by all means do more. Uh, just try not to use the turquoise, okay? We don't wanna use too much turquoise or too much red because we're gonna use a lot of red and turquoise inside there. Okay, let this dry and then we're gonna come back and paint it in after. Okay. okay, so it's almost completely dry. Good enough for me. Okay, we're, we've got our colors. I'm going to start with the yellow. Because we have so many bright, uh, dark colors on this one, I'm going to start with the yellow and give it its own chance to shine. And then I can just add in small little bits. Okay, so I'm going to take a little bit of my brown Okay, and I'm just gonna go in along the top, then wash my brush really, really well, dry it off, and let some of that spill out into the yellow. But we still wanna see that yellow. Okay, then we're gonna go back with our yellow. I'm gonna paint in our eye. Okay, I'm gonna come in, do some hints of yellow on the top here. Okay, and then a little bit of yellow on the teeth, but I'm gonna wash my brush, dry it off, and then spread it around with some water so that, there we go, they're not completely yellow. And the last place I wanna use some yellow is on the tentacle suction cups. I want them to stand out and pop, okay? Very nice. Now from here, I'm gonna take my blue, okay? And I'm going to come along the top side of this funny little blobby pot, okay? Wash it, dry it, muddle them together a little bit. Okay, give it a good wash again. Take some of the red. Okay, just got some of the red in there. Okay, then I'm gonna paint in the rest of the tentacle red. Okay. And if the yellow bleeds a little bit, that's okay. Get in any little small spots you see around the tentacles. Okay. And I'm going to fill the rest of the pot in with red. Okay, but then we're gonna add some blue details and some brown details to make it extra creepy. And so that it actually will match its lid because it's supposed to be the top of its body. Okay. Yeah. All right. Now, with the small amount of red that's left, I'm just going to scribble over top of the lid and see how those colors all still exist together, but one doesn't take over the other. Okay, now what I'm gonna do, oh, that was a lot. Okay, so I just wanna kind of add hints of blue all over, okay? Just dabbing all over, and then I can wash the brush, okay? And I'm just gonna muddle that around, kind of how we do things in the background sometimes. We just muddle, muddle, muddle. No ink on our brush. We just move around whatever ink we have on the canvas. If you feel like one color is taking over, so I feel like mine's going very blue and I'd like to see more red, so I'm just gonna take some more red. I'm gonna fight back. Okay, just fight back. Okay, I'm gonna come in a little more and I'm gonna smear some of that dark. Notice how it's kind of creating a purple color. Okay. There. Now, the last thing I'm gonna do, wash my brush, I'm gonna take some of my brown and I'm gonna paint the stem brown Okay, now 
This might not work very well for mine because the eye is very saturated, but I'm going to take a little bit of that blue and dab in some blue into the pupil of the eyeball up there on the top. Okay, and there! You've got a scary, creepy teapot. A killer teapot. Okay? I can't wait to see what you guys do with these ones because I think this is going to be really exciting to see how everyone does. I could have made mine bigger, so feel free to make yours take up more of the space if you like. Um, and please, please, please share because I can't wait to see what these look like. This is, this is going to be really fun. Enjoy, everybody!